dream last night that I lost my trailer. Let's make sure that that doesn't happen today in real life. I have checked to make sure the trailer is locked on. Now I'm going to do a little tug test. We are definitely attached. Okay. Thank God that was just a dream. So we're here just into Pennsylvania from New York State. Way up here in the north. We go down the road on uh, what I-90. Stop at a pile of Flying J for some coffee. And we have a full day of driving to get down to North Carolina. Don't talk over me, Karen. It's too early for that. Entrance only. We have our own. You have arrived at entrance. your destination on the left side. Pilot Travel Center number 311. Interesting. I think I've been here before. This is like a weird entrance. Got to go all the way around here and through here and all of a sudden you're like, oh, there it is. There it is. Over a little bridge here. Fantastic. Fantastic. Just need a coffee. Beautiful hills of West Virginia, Interstate 79. Really is a, a state to behold, I would say. One way to put it. Especially in summertime. We still have five hours to go, so a long ways yet. But with scenery like this, it doesn't seem so long. through hills like this makes you feel so small, you know? So I'm still going to figure out where we're going to stop tonight. Not too sure. Haven't, haven't even thought about it yet. Probably going to stop for a bite to eat soon and we'll look at it then. the highway here you can see all these little homes scattered throughout the hills homes built right onto the side of the hill it's pretty neat Virginia is for lovers that's their slogan I wonder how they got that slogan I have to ask my buddy Moses and Colleen they live in Virginia here somewhere. How'd you get your state slogan? Very nice state. It's not quite as hilly and bumpy as West Virginia, but it's still just as beautiful. I believe the state split during the Civil War, right? I might be wrong, but I think West Virginia sided with the North and Virginia sided with the South. So technically we just officially crossed into the South. I think that's how it went. We learned about American history in school. It's interesting that they don't learn about Canadian history down here. They know nothing about us. They don't know anything about us. They don't know, they don't even know how many provinces we have and territories. They don't know what they're called. They don't know what our capital is. A lot of them don't even know we're up there. I don't know what they're teaching them in schools, but hey, we're, 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 we're up there, you know? Friendly neighbors. Exact same people, <laughs> same history. But it sort of makes it. We don't have a lot of pull in when it comes to world affairs and stuff up in Canada. We're kind of like America's sidekick. Wherever America shows up, we'll show up too, because, well, we're their little brother. We just follow them everywhere. I don't know why we're not just one big country. It is what it is. That's the way the cookie crumbled. That's the way they drew the lines. That's 
that's the way history unfolded. So I guess Canada would technically be referred to as the Confederated Provinces of America. And the U.S. down here would be the United States of America. Two unions. One history. The weather is so much nicer down here though, man. You guys got lucky. I wish they would have drawn the line just a little further north. And they cut me off. I'm stuck up in the cold. about another two and a half hours to get through to North Carolina. I'm getting hungry though. I need to stop somewhere. I need to stop and eat. I probably should have gone in this rest area. Too late now. I'm not a lane diver. Ah, there's no parking in there anyway. Look at that. It's all filled up already. That's right. It's after six o'clock. All filled up. Wow. Oh boy, that uh, makes me look forward to finding parking later. Finding the lack of parking. <laughs> you guys remember my buddy Moses? He's from Virginia here. As I pulled into this uh, little tiny truck stop that I thought nobody knew about, turns out I'd been here before. I pulled in here and I said, man, this place looks familiar. This is the truck stop where I first bumped into my buddy Moses. And he was a groomsman at my wedding a couple years later and now we talk pretty much every day and he's like one of my best friends that was where we first hung out that, that's pretty cool I forgot where this place was turns out it's right here we're here uh oh, where are we just north of Canover actually uh I'll have to tell you in the morning I'm tired I'm gonna head to sleep now it's been a really, really long day, and uh, oh, we're going to end it here. Maybe we'll continue it a little bit tomorrow yet, to our delivery. Maybe we won't. I don't know. Will you see me tomorrow in today's vlog? Tomorrow today? Today tomorrow? Just have to tune in, or maybe just keep watching and find out. Did you really think I was gonna make you wait till tomorrow? Well, it is tomorrow, so tomorrow today. We're gonna go deliver this freight, and I just wanted to check in and say, hey, hope to tune in tomorrow, it's gonna be fun. Don't know what's all gonna happen yet. I gotta go deliver this, and it is hot. It is piping hot outside for me. So I'm gonna melt while I'm unloading this, because I gotta, gotta help unload as far as I know. That's fine, uh, I could use the work. And then from here we go to the Atlanta, Georgia area. So, fingers crossed. It's not right in the city, it's outside the city. So we can avoid most of the city, but Atlanta is in the news a lot lately as a place that I don't really want to be. <laughs> but that's okay, that's okay. The majority of the people there are absolutely fantastic, amazing people. There's just a few people there that are very loud and violent right now. You know what I'm talking about. So I, I want to go around the city and uh, go pick up my load. I think it's already preloaded. Just got to go switch trailers and I think we're headed back up to Ontario. I've had a little bit of coffee already. Can you tell? I'm very excited for this day. It's going to be a good day. It's going to be a fantastic day. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to end it here. We'll see you tomorrow.